Hello, this is Randy Robinson, the National Sales Manager at Civicon. Today we're going to get in a little more detail on the overfill systems and the different type of overfill systems that you might come across. Uh, the five-wire overfill system, the two-wire overfill system, and the plug-in load or the plug-in connection overfill systems. This video is, is primarily designed for people that are newer into the industry, maybe a parts distributor or somebody that just wants a little bit more detail on the different style of overfill systems that are out there. Okay, and if you're not sure what type of overfill system you have, I'm going to give you a couple guidelines that might help you focus in on what's actually on this trailer. So an average five wire system is just going to have the optic socket and the overfill probes. In two wire overfill, there's three types. You'll, you could see a red black overfill probe, you could see a black white overfill probe, and you could see a gray gray overfill probe. Okay, and if you're not sure what style overfill system you have on there, another quick check you could do to help point you in the right direction is if you have a two-wire overfill system, you're more than likely going to see an onboard monitor and you're going to see uh, two color sockets, an optic and a thermistor socket, of the blue and the green plug on the side of the trailer. On a two-wire system, the onboard monitor, or really the overfill system, is being powered by the truck. Unlike a five-wire system where the power is coming from the loading rack, a two-wire system gets power from the truck and it powers up this onboard monitor. That gives you the, the troubleshooting ability. That's where it tells you if your overfilled probes are working, your retain probes, any auxiliary inputs that you might have on that particular compartment or trailer. So when you get to the loading terminal, really the loading terminal is determining which one you need, the optic or the thermistor plug. It's really how it's keyed and the loading terminal is really going to have one. So whatever color plug they have at the loading terminal, let's just say it's blue, that's going to be the socket you, you plug into and that's a communication link saying your overfill is working, the rack monitor sees that communication and when they agree, it, they give you the permit and you're ready to load fuel. So two wires are most common on the eastern part of the United States, typically east of the Colorado Rockies. If you're east of the Colorado Rockies, the chances are you have a two wire overfill system. The, the last type of overfill system that we're going to talk about is the plug and load, the plug-in style overfill systems. Civicon's version is referred to as ROMLink, so that's where you're, you're not hardwiring your probes anymore. There's a plug-in connection coming off of a main wiring loom on the top of the compartment and a plug actually coming off of the probe. And you just simply plug that connection in and you're done with your wiring. Uh, they set up a lot more like a two-wire system than they do a five-wire. So on a plug and load, a ROM link style system, you're typically going to have an onboard monitor, you'll have multiple sockets, and if you're not sure, if you're still not sure if it's a plug and load ROM link style system on there, have a look at your onboard monitor or your sockets, and if you see a plug in connection coming out of those, you're likely looking at a ROM link plug and load style overfill system. You'll see the plug and load style overfill system, typically where you see two wire overfill systems, so the eastern part of the United States. Okay, let's touch a little bit more on the retain probes. A retain probe is mounted at the belly of each compartment and it's a sensor looking to see if there's liquid left or retained in that compartment from the previous load. Okay, so if that retain probe sees liquid in the bottom of that compartment, what it's going to do is it's going to show up a red light on your onboard monitor and that's going to notify you that there's, the sensor sees liquid. Uh, before you go to load that trailer, you really want to understand how much liquid's in there before you try to load. Some of the disadvantages of not having an onboard monitor on a five wire system is uh, you can't have uh, multiple sockets, meaning multiple optic thermistor sockets. You can have multiple optic sockets, but you won't be able to have an optic and a thermistor socket without an onboard monitor. Also, you're not going to get the ability to have retain and you lose a lot of the troubleshooting ability. Uh, you got to remember these, these trailers are powered by the rack or a test fixture. So in between point A and B, uh, the driver, you don't really have any indication if the system's working or not. If you want retain or if you want the troubleshooting ability of the monitor, you will have to include a monitor. So when, when you include an onboard monitor, you can now have the ability to have retain. You have the ability to add both an optic and a therm socket. Here we have an example of a five wire overfill probe and the five wire uh, main cable coming from the socket. Uh, we're going to quickly touch on the different uh, wire colors and, and what they do. The, the red uh, wire is your positive power wire. The black wire is your ground. The green wire is a common diagnostics line. The yellow is the, is the signal from the rack, the pulse out from the rack. 
and the orange is a pulse back into the rack. And if you have a two-wire system, uh, then from there we just got to figure out what color wires are your probes. Here are the three two-wire overfill probes that you'll see. The first one we have is a white-black with the, the white being the ground and the black being the power. The red-black, the red is the power line and the black is the ground line. And the gray-gray probe, it's a universal, the wiring are interchangeable so it doesn't matter which wire you hook where. Okay, the gray-gray uh, universal probe color uh, wires, that's gonna be the most flexible for you. If you're in the parts business or parts distributor, uh, that style probe is gonna replace uh, 90, say 90% 90 of the probes out there. Unless you're dealing with some older equipment, say uh, pre-2000s, uh, that gray-gray probe should, should replace red-black and white-black in those applications. Here we have an example of a two-wire overfill probe and uh, the main cable running from your onboard monitor up to your probes. We're just going to take a brief second to talk about what the different wires do coming from that main cable. The first wire, the red wire, is what's sending the signal or pulse to compartment number one. So red is your compartment number one, orange is number two, yellow is number three, green is number four, blue is number five, white is number six, and black is your ground. Here we have an example of a typical two-wire probe uh, with all the wire uh, connections stripped and crimped together. Just wanted to take a moment here to point out the, how important it is to, to make sure you have a good stripped and crimped connection and make sure things like the strain reliefs are tight to, to the main wire cable and also to where it threads into the boss. Uh, you know, more, if moisture gets in here, it's going to create corrosion and you're likely going to uh, see an overfill uh, issue that you're going to have to troubleshoot down the road. So uh, to cr quick recap, make sure that the cap seal is in good working order and you're getting a seal on the cap. Make sure your strain release are good and tight. Here we have uh, the example of the, the two wire hard wire overfill system. I just wanted to show a quick comparison on some of the newer plug-in load style overfill systems. Here, here's the same probe just with a plug-in connection. If you were to wire this probe up, you would simply take the cap, plug in this connection here, put your, put your lid on, plug in to the main wiring loom. So right there essentially we have the same connections made. Okay, so a quick recap, I mean, we touched on two-wire overfill, five-wire overfill, and the plug-in load type overfill systems. Hopefully for now you can identify what uh, particular overfill system you, you might be working on. And if you need additional information as far as how to wire these additional troubleshooting, uh, just more technical information, please visit our website at civicon.com. Thanks for watching.